What's up guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna explain to you how to install Minecraft mods in 2025. So the first thing we need to do is search curseforge.com. As you can see, the first website is what we need. So you just click on that. As you can see, we have a section called future games. So we should just stick with Minecraft and click on that. And then we have a latest mod category, which is for the mods that have been released recently and popular at the same time. So you can download any of these if you want to. And also, as you can see, we have a category called popular category. So we should just stick with mods. As you can see here, we have different mods that are free on this website. And on the left, we have modes loader. So to even simplify this, we have four mode loaders. So we have forge and we have fabric and we have a new forge and we have a quilt. So I uh, use fabric most of the time. So I'm just gonna check this box and then I'm gonna search for maybe world edit for instance. And then we have different versions for the same mod. So I'm just going to stick on the first version, which supports a new forge and fabric as well. The second is world edit Q fabric. I don't use this, so I'm just going to stick with the first one. So I'm clicking on that. So as you can see, we have game versions for this specific mods. So for myself, I play 1.21 most of the time. So I'm just going to search for that. As you can see, I just found it here and then you should click on that. And then you should click on the download button, not the install, and then wait for five seconds to wait it to give you the download link. So as you can see, I got the download link and then we should just start downloading here by clicking on that. So as you can see, the file is already downloaded and it's on my desktop already. So for the most important step that we're going to explain how to install this mod into the Minecraft folder. So we need to go into the taskbar search bar and then we type percent update percent and then we click on that. As you can see, we're going to search for .minecraft and then search for a folder called mods. And then as you can see, I have a folder already uh, installed with some specific mods. So I'm just going to uh, cut them and put them somewhere else. And then I'm going to install the new Minecraft mod I just got from that website. And then I'm going to uh, put it into the folder and then simply close this. Now you need just to run the game using your Minecraft launcher. So for myself, I use the T launcher, which is the one I explained two weeks ago. So this launcher has two mod loaders, which is Forge and the Fabric. Also, it comes with Optifine. So if you want to check this video, you can find it on my channel. As you can see, guys, I already chose the Fabric 1.21, which is the version that is specific for that mode that I installed already on the folder. So it should be compatible with what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to enter the game and then wait for the game to run. And then as you can see, I'm going to just select single player and then go into my world. So as you can see, guys, I just loaded into my world. So if you want to know how world edit works, so it comes with a super axe, which is the wooden axe. So I'm just going to try to left click somewhere. And as you can see, I got the first position set to uh, minus 10, minus 61, 10. Uh, these are the coordinates that you can actually use to make a specific command. As you can see, I'm going to just set Obsidian, which means this mod is already working with Fabric and it's totally compatible. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more guides like these. Peace out.